That's life, I can't deny it. Fighting fish on the ocean, <laughs> killer killer fish. fish are flying. Good. That's life. Welcome to No One Can Know About This, a podcast where we play every Final Fantasy. I'm Jeff Ekman. And I'm Ryan Kazmiski. And here we go, Season 5, Episode 10. Yeah, what are we doing in this episode? We well, just last we're... week we finished the Tropical Cave and mm-hmm. we got the Black Mask. Yep. Now we're headed to Castle Dist, where right. we're going to learn about the Heru. And the Dragoons. And the Dragoons, and, and we're going to do a really fucking hard dungeon. That du- yeah, that dungeon, I remember being very hard very sad story about the Haru and the Dragoons. Yeah. So where we're picking up, we had just saved and healed up and all that after having gotten the Black Mask. Mm-hmm. We're, I think we were in the town of Salmondo, and we're going to go look for Castle Dist. Dist. Is there anything else we should talk about before we get started? Nah. <laughs> Let's do it then. <laughs> well, we successfully got an item which we have no idea what we need it for. Yeah, I know. Because the walkthrough told us that we can get it now and there's no reason not to. (laughs) But later on they're going to be like, you're going to need to get a black mask and a white mask. We're finally playing it the way everyone wants us to. Yeah, are you all happy? (laughs) Fucking bees. At least, at least you're not, like, I feel safe here. Yeah, we're not going to die, but like. It's annoying, but like, after all of the intensity of that dungeon, I'm kind of like, yeah, all right, bees. Whatever. You're slowing us down and it's annoying, but come on. I'm not even afraid of your queen. I wonder when we'll meet lions. Our pizza's about to be here. I'm so hungry. Hey, Lane, come here. Come here. Come over here. Come over here. What? Come. Come here. Haley, come here. <laughs> yes, I want you away from the Nintendo for when the person knocks. Good call. Good. So that you don't jump over the Looking Nintendo. Looking ahead. You know, I'm thinking ahead. I'm sneaky Pete and you. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I'm also gonna give you a. Oh, there it is. Funky yeah. ass. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a break. We did it! Holy shit. The tropical cave is no more. So we had ordered a pizza and we take a short break to eat. Mm-hmm. Well, we were just about leveled properly by the end of that. You ready to repeat that? Rinse and repeat that entire fucking process? I am. I am, I take over now. Go for it. You did the whole day. I think at this point, and you know, the verdict's not all the way in. I think this is a much worse game than Final Fantasy 1. Alright. I mean, look at our stats. Even Layla's MP is out of control. Yeah, David is our like our main spellcaster. Yeah, he's ostensibly our white mage, and he has 42 MP. Jojo has 122 MP. Yeah, they both started out in similar areas. But David kept getting poisoned, and we didn't realize it for too long, so now we're like, why wouldn't his MP go up, and I now mean, it's too low? Layla, who we've had for like no time at all, has 57 <laughs> magic points. David's lack of MP is still insane. It's so stra- so disturbing to me. Like, I don't know what to do about it. So now I head back to the boat mm-hmm. and on to, uh, what you call it? Bolt level, though. You want to come here and I'll scratch your face? Come here. Yeah, you can get your face scratched for free. Yeah, there you go. Get that face scratch. Fucking leave your fucking ears. Yeah, it's, it's real playtime. Yeah, Ryan, if you're doing three hours of that, you should just want to throw a ball with the dog, you know? <laughs> I totally relate. <laughs> Here we are. Yay! We found it. What monsters await? So we make it to the island that Castle Dist is on. You know, I'm gonna save. Good idea. Bang! Save. So it's a lovely island. There's like a pond and mm-hmm. stuff, and there's a big castle. And when you walk in, there's like a kid there. Who are you? Airship. Out of spell. Warship. Sunflame. Wild Rose. Do we not have the fucking thing we need to say to this idiot? No way. Here's the Death God. Here's the Black Mask. Here's the thread. Show him the torch or whatever. Eagle torch? <clears throat> Can't okay, use that. Here's a bell. What the fuck are we doing? The kid just ran away. I guess he runs off. I mean, he just disappears. Sometimes those don't intend for you to say, like, what is- What was that? All right. Yeah, I guess it's like you're chasing him through the castle. Mm Mm-hmm. Here he is again. I'll tell mom. Airship. Goddess (laughs) Bell. 
Anyway, a little ways into the castle, we find his mom. Mm -hmm. My husband was killed by the Empire. He was a dragoon. We two are the only ones who survived. The last hair you is here. It's trying to speak, but we can't understand it. We could understand the hear you if we had my oh, husband's yeah. pendant hidden somewhere nearby. Haley, come here. I can learn hear you. So we've learned the word hear you. The hear you is in another room here in the castle. Mm -hmm. But we got, we got to find the pendant so that we can make sense of his gibberish. In all the guides, they're called wyverns. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a pendant nearby. Which we also, we came here to see if the Dragoons can help us, and we just learned that they're all dead. Yeah, these <laughs> two are the only survivors, so we gotta go find the Pendant in the nearby dungeon. Mm -hmm. The Dragoons fought bravely, but the Emperor poisoned the water of Hiryu. Before the war, every Hiryu existed for the sake of its respective Dragoon. The Hiryu race is now extinct. Dragoons cannot exist without them. Their lives depend on each other. Well, that's bad. If I hadn't said her you back to this woman, you I wouldn't. learned her you from this woman, said it back to her, and now I can learn the word dragoon. Her yous were like special horses for the dragoons specifically? Well, they're wyverns. They're like dragons. But so like, like, I mean, like, the, you know, they're like, it's like each dragoon has yeah, his yeah. own her they're you. Like they're bonded, <laughs> you know? <laughs> they do that thing in Avatar where they like... You get that pendant like... and you can talk to it. The dragoons fought bravely, but the emperor poisoned the... This, now if you say dragoon, he says, he says the same shit. Wild Rose. Okay. Haley, we all want to lick our assholes all the time, so we go into the other room where there's a dying Hiryu. Mm -hmm. It's like an old dragon sprite. Hiryu says, Gyaru-gao. Hiryu, dragoon, got a spell. What do I do? You need the pendant. <laughs> Haven't you been listening? <laughs> Seriously. Anyway, we walk into another room in this castle. There's a trap room. <laughs> Even in this place with no encounters. In the place with no encounters, there's a trap room. Anybody? God, we're so close to seeing fucking Will Riker again. A Fenixton! It's our first Fenixton. Which reminds me, I watched Picard again so I can continue my recap. So, like, what happens after... <laughs> oh, that's what... <laughs> so after Picard wakes up from the nightmare, we cut to, like, oh, future God. Boston. And it's, like, all cyberpunk It's future shit. Boston, not San Francisco? Not where, where we see Dodge. She's in Boston. Dodge? Oh, yeah. Dodge. Yeah. yeah. You oh, look at this room, bro. Oh, nice. You'll you'll remember very soon after I recap you. Because we're in... Elder Bob. IQ. Uh, now oh, I have a heart. I found a treasure room, and it's full of really weird items that I don't know what how they work or what to do with them. Yeah, that's nice, but in future Boston, Dodge <laughs> gets ambushed by Romulans, and, and it all sets off the, the whole series of events. What am I going to do with all this shit? Now I gotta drop shit. I'm gonna throw out this battle axe. Yeah, toss it. And sleep. Nobody else needs to know sleep. You can just it. teach it to somebody. You don't even have to throw it away. Shut up. There's no reason to just don't throw it away. Don't be thinking any better than me. <laughs> We're getting to the point where we have all this fucking bullshit that I don't think we can throw away. Like, so much. Everyone already knows sleep, dude. I okay. just taught it to Layla. Sure. The Layla winged sometimes. sword. <laughs> Crucifix. What do we do with these things? I don't know. Let me... Haley! I'm gonna drop another eye. <laughs> like, this is such a cool part where you go through and get a bunch of cool shit. Yeah, I feel like we've been really upgrading. A <clears throat> unicorn? What it? What is... I don't know. I can't find, like, an item list. I can find the weapons and the armor and the I magic, know. but I can't seem to find... Haley, get the fuck over here. If uh, the, the unicorn cures the entire party of all temporary status ailments. Okay. And there's only a 10% chance it'll be used up when doing so. These weird items sound so good and we just put them in our inventory and don't think about them again. That unicorn horn is totally <laughs> great and we just forget we have it like immediately. You should get, you should put that in someone's like item equip slot. The unicorn? And in here we're getting into fights with like Eight super strong, like zombies and wraiths or whatever. Lame, man. Yeah, I think undead things are strong against lightning, which makes sense because, you know, that's like how you make Frankenstein. Right. You're just helping them. You're just, you're just giving, yeah, you're yeah. just helping them. They don't mind it at all. But curing them, making them alive, that fucks them right up. I was thinking the other day, 
Can it just officially, can the monster just be called Frankenstein now? Do we really have to, like... <laughs> for, all, for all of history, is there going to be someone in the corner who goes like, well, it's actually Frankenstein's monster? Yes. And you I go, we all know that. I don't think that we're ever getting out from underneath that one. No? If it's really not the monster, then call the movie Dr. Frankenstein. Well, I mean, it's, you know... I mean, <laughs> don't argue with me, okay? Okay, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't care enough to step into this. I'm going to flip it, and then I become the pennant. Well, I'm like, well, I mean, it is still his name. Uh, <laughs> so we enter the cave to the north, which is supposed to have the pendant that'll let us talk to the Hiryu. Oh, Wiz Ogres. We can handle these guys. Lots what the bump? It's the corpse of the dragoon, the pendant was inside him? Beside. Oh, beside him. Yeah. Luckily, the pendant is pretty early in this cave. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to grab it and then go back and talk to the Hiru and then come back to the cave. They're a big fan of, like, making you walk back and forth well, They like the, like, the two there's something on the first floor of that dungeon. Mm -hmm. And then also, you gotta beat the dungeon. Well, they like also the, like, oh, well, what you're gonna wanna do is go all the way to Salmondo, and then as soon as you get there, you're gonna wanna go all the way back to Altea, and then once you get there, you're gonna wanna go back to Salmondo. So we'll be back in this cave. <laughs> But even so, we just got it. We got it. it, yeah. Let's see how long I can stand letting Haley lick my hand. But it is nice and smooth now. Thank you, Haley. Yeah, I should offer that at spas. <laughs> this pack of dogs will lick your entire <laughs> body until all of the dead skin is gone. People would pay for dogs to lick their whole body. <laughs> oh, God, that would be so gross. It just Can you just imagine, like, a dozen dogs, like, every part of you, they're, like, in your armpit. Like, it would tickle so it much. really <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to explore this dungeon. I think you should. Yeah, you're just covered in slobber at the end of it, and you got to take a shower. <laughs> but I decide to go further into the cave because things seem pretty light, and we, even though we've got the pendant and got to go to talk to the Haru, I'm like, well, you know, let's go further. I mean, they really go against what your instincts are in this yeah. game. Like, you you get to a place, and the thing to do is not explore the whole thing. <laughs> like, really weird. I had to explore one, so... Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, great. The land turtle. This isn't even the fucking adamantus. We have almost all of the, like, key <clears throat> items, you know? Yeah. This is a list of them. God, the black fight. mask, the canoe, the crystal rod, the egg. So we don't have the crystal rod or the egg. The eagle torch, the goddess bell, the mithril, the pass, the pendant, the ring, the snow craft, the sun flame, the white mask, which we don't have. Here we don't have the white mask. And the hero. The hero. We just got the hero. Did we? No, we got the pendant so we can talk to the Hiru. <laughs> so instead of leaving and going and talking to the Hiru, I'm like, there's a whole dungeon to explore. And so I start heading down to the second floor. The first floor was filled with super easy mm -hmm. enemies. The second floor has Gyguses on them. Uh, yeah. They're it's huge. Problem. Whoa, oh boy. Maybe Gyguses is hard. Wow, cool. These guys are hard. Look at those guys. How about them? How do they like punch? They get hit. Whoa! No! Oh boy! Layla just got one-shotted. Yeah. I stepped into a new part of the dungeon, Ryan. Okay, it might be okay. Jesus! Oh my! Christ! Oh my! I didn't see this fight coming too, because like I wasn't really like everybody's kind of in the middle of their hit points. Mm -hmm. I was fighting those other shits. I gotta get Cure Four going. Jeez. Ow! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. And now David is dead. Mm -hmm. Oh no, we might be fucked. Oh damn. She dead. What the fuck, <laughs> guys? Guys, <laughs> well, come on. <laughs> what do we need to double all of our HP? Oh my god. I mean, who knows? I oh, killed man. one of them. <sighs> <laughs> So even though we had done the whole tropical cave, yeah. which is was not technically the next thing to do, the difficulty spike it's in this dungeon still <laughs> too hard. <laughs> Always, every time. Ugh. All right, so I'm just gonna grab the tail and go. I mean pendant, and yes. Yeah, we so we go and pick up the pendant again and go back to the castle. Dragoon. Okay, for now you should just head back to the castle. Okay, yeah, just pick it up and get out of here. What? What? We'll be back here later. We're not supposed to hang out in here? Nah. Oh, well, because we don't have the item that we need to complete the dungeon. We gotta go back to the wyvern. Or, sorry, the hero. The hero. He'll give us an egg to take to the bottom of the cavern to incubate. Okay. That sounds fine. I wanna 
look, because like I went, I just wanted to see what was to the left here. You know what, what am I talking about? We're gonna come back. Yeah, I, that was a momentary like, well, well I gotta explore. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, even as we're like, oh, so we're not exploring, you're like, but let me just explore let me a little. Just a little. <laughs> I leave. Who are you? Dependent of Haru. Hey, kid. And your ma. Now we gotta take it to the Haru. <laughs> It looks so stupid. I know. <laughs> the Hiryu says, I won't live much longer. The poison has spread quickly. Everyone is dying and dead, and you can't save anything. They poisoned the Hiryus. <laughs> we have your pendant. Long before the war, uh -huh. one dragoon named Richard set out to find a forbidden magic ultima. Dragoon. Hiryu. Please, hear my last wish. Submerge this egg in the spring of life, in a Norman cave. I hope we have no inventory space. This dying dragon <laughs> is like, Once upon a time, Richard went to find magic. <laughs> anyway, I'm dying. Take this egg and go to the cave. Like, these two things have nothing to They're do with each other. It's the only chance to save my race. Haru, we received the egg. I love that the voice you did for the Haru is almost like a Richard Nixon. And I just, <laughs> if I were doing a Nixon and wanted to like get into it, I'd be like, Haru! Haru. <laughs> I bet subconsciously something Haru. like that was going on. I also love that I did that voice and he's like, I just laid this egg. <laughs> <laughs> if Nixon laid an egg. Oh. Uh, yay. Got a spell. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we have the egg, we can beat those fucking Gyguses? No, they're still gonna be just as hard. Ooh, great. Where are these even coming from? We're not in a place. Oh yeah, one of the common enemies on the walk from the castle to the cave is stalactites. Yeah, just out in the open. In the middle of the field. <laughs> I think they're dead chickens posing as stalactites, you know? <laughs> they really look more like that. So we start making our way down past the first floor of the cave. On our way to submerge the egg. Stairs this way too? I mean, that last dungeon was so big, I'd be surprised if they get smaller. Ah, oh, Gygus. At least there's only one of them. We run quickly into another guy. Yeah, we gotta figure out how to deal with these things. You had looked up that you could maybe sleep them. Mm-hmm. God! <laughs> but before I have a chance to, David dies on the first hit. These things are so strong. Uh, oh no. Dude. Slap. Slap one was ineffective, and her slap was also ineffective. Shit. Should I try slapping him again? I, yeah. At the very least, it'll help us level it up. Yeah, maybe it's just not high enough level. Jesus. <whistles> Jesus. So Slep may be a strategy for these guys, but we're not able to do it. Yeah, because we haven't leveled up Slep, because we haven't had the opportunity to cast it like 30 times. <laughs> like two of those guys is fucking impossible. Uh, at this level. Uh-huh. So at this point, I think to just have a change of pace, you go and lay down on the floor near the coffee table. Yeah, that's why I sound different, is I'm like underneath the microphone now. <laughs> I got a potion. Oh, good. No, I guess. God, God damn it! Slap! Yeah, we should do some slap power leveling. You know I'm what I mean? I'm working on it. I mean, like, power level the slap. <laughs> yep. I mean, like, take a nap. Like, this <laughs> fucking power slap. Power slap! Slap this guy! It, what, slap one does. It's just, just not work. good it enough. It just doesn't work. You can blink everybody, maybe avoid hits. Now you're thinking with guy goods. Mm hmm With now we're cooking with guy gas. Eh? Uh huh, yeah. Uh? Guy gas. Yeah. The cheapest gas. I don't feel that easy to dodge. Well, our our blink isn't very high level either. It's level two. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's yep. level two. Yep. I know. Dude, it's level two. We may be at a point in the game where level one and two spells just aren't gonna cut it. What are these? Great ogres. Oh boy, this sounds scary. So much cash. We cut the whole thing out, but my fight with those great ogres that you just heard us go into was like literally 15 minutes long. Yeah, and then they expect you to know if you were walking left or right. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Did I come out of that staircase or I th am I heading to it? I have no That fight was idea. so unbelievably long. I have, I, 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 let me think for a second. 
I would, I would get the Wiz Ogre gone and then focus on one of them at a time. Yeah. We're getting through the dungeon, but it's another one of these Great Ogre fights that takes fucking 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, right after the last one. At this point in the game, pretty much every encounter is like this. No. For the love of God. Jeff, they're just big, chonky boys. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> They're big, chonky boys. Uh -huh. They're chonky boys. They're boy. real chonksters. I'm chonk. Hey, she hit for four points. You're a chonk. I'm a chonk. You just. <laughs> I'm gonna describe myself as that <laughs> on my dating profile. Just a chonky boy. God! She's dead too. Who wants to get his snoop booped? <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yes. And what I mean <laughs> is for you to lightly touch on my nose. <laughs> what a nightmare we're in. I just recently moved to LA and I just like to get involved in the chonk community. I had a lot of fun being a chonkster back in New York. <laughs> <laughs> we met tons of great people. Uh -huh. Loved every second of it. Yeah, I'm gonna give the ether to David. Do it. I think it's unsafe not to. We're all about safety here on the podcast. So I turn a corner and find a dead end. Dude, that was a... This whole path, I can't handle this. The other way is the way forward. I kind of think you may need to exit. Yeah, I was just thinking, what if I exit, go back to town, back to town come back here all the right way. way. We are so close to the end of this dungeon. I know, you can see it. And if we go back to town, town isn't back at the castle. It's like across an ocean. <laughs> yeah, every time we leave, we gotta go really far. I think that's the way to do it, to not lose anything. Because that really the way to do this game faster is to do it slower. Because every time we lose, it, yep. it just no, fucks you're us right. so hard. You're totally right. The only way to do it fast is to do it slow. Tortoise and hare... Paradox. <laughs> the tortoise and the hare paradox? It's confounded science for centuries. <laughs> like, the hare should win, but he never does. And we don't understand every, why. Every race that they've ever <laughs> staged between the tortoise and the hare, the hare just, he, he gets is cocky. faster. He's, but he's, yeah, he's faster, but he can't win. Under any conditions set it's for a the experiment. <laughs> I remember... A friend of mine having some piece of wisdom where it's like, if you're pulling on the rope and you just can't get anything, any movement on it, try pushing on the rope. <laughs> Her bow just did bananas damage. Good, because it's fire. God, and the amount of cash. Like, we can, like, almost afford an ether. Well, that's what, yeah, I feel like soon we'll be getting into the realm where we can buy the, the high-level stuff, like ethers and... We actually have enough to afford ethers, but we mean elixirs. So mm -hmm. every time we say ether, we mean elixir, which is fucking fifty thousand dollars. All right, so I'm just gonna exit now. Yeah, some weak ass chess is what this is. <laughs> just start using it in general. Like, man, this is some weak chess. It also especially applies to a game that you're playing. I yeah, especially if you're playing checkers. <laughs> that just could have been what that was Man, called. this is some weak-ass chess. What the fuck kind of chess yeah, is this? No, it's weak chess. <laughs> like they've never seen it. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> gotta go drop off this fucking egg. Oh, I totally forgot. But anyway, we cut to... <laughs> apartment in future Boston. We, uh, we got derailed with the first thing that you said about it. And there's like this like young woman sitting with this like alien guy who's right. like got some kind of like right. texturally satisfying thing on his head instead of hair. It looks like he's weird got kind of like fungus growing on his head and they're on a date. Uh, and his... I talking about booty call earlier? You were talking about booty call earlier. This is a phenomenon on display that we run into all the fucking time on this show, where the same inputs cause us to output the same yeah, words. We, like, we basically are sitting in this room saying the same shit to each other over <laughs> and over and over again. The number of times you and I must have had conversations when we weren't recording that just played out the exact full conversation as though we had never had it before, but both of us were as though we were having it for the first time. Are, must be in the millions. I think literally the only way we talk about new things is by watching TV. 
Because his hair reminds me of the hair that Jamie Foxx had in that movie. Right. It's honestly convinced me that, like, anyone who thinks of themselves as fully conscious, it must just be wrong. Mm -hmm. Because you often hear, like, scientists will describe, like, well, a bug's consciousness is very basic. Like, they they sent sugar and then they go to it. And I'm like, right. And I mentioned, like, Picard and then Jeff goes booty call. (laughs) Like, there's this path that we're walking and we're not even, like, aware of it. Anyway, we're in this apartment in Boston and uh, they're, like, getting ready. They're, like, totally into each other and she's yeah, like, like let's celebrate i just got accepted to the daystrom institute uh-huh. which for those not in the know is like a place where ai research goes yeah and then he's like hold on let me get something out of your replicator for us to get drunk on and then dudes in black motorcycle gear teleport in and fucking knife the knife the alien dude <laughs> and then grab the chick And they're, like, saying stuff like, Where'd you come from? Who are you? And she's like, I'm from Seattle. And they're like, Shut the fuck up. You're lying. And then one of them's like, She hasn't activated yet. And then just like that, (laughs) she activates. Oh, she She activates. She kicks everybody's ass with karate she didn't know she had. Mm -hmm. And then she freaks out and runs away. And then the opening credits roll. And that's all. I don't remember what happens exactly. After you don't that, remember. So you I'll watch, watch it again. You'll watch it again in between the next session and then when we play again, you'll update us on the next scene. The next scene, yeah. Oh, it's complicated. I'm tired. <laughs> Another time, children. So this is the right way. If this isn't the way you went, then no, this is the right way. I was lying on the floor for this part. Well, it was like at the top of the dungeon, motherfucker. Back to fighting Gygases. Yeah, on our way back to the bottom. What was this guy weak to? Fire? Fire did well. I like that he's he's drooling a little bit. (laughs) Those might be teeth, but I'm gonna go with drool. (laughs) Come on, they're not teeth. Uh, What do you, I mean, I guess it could be tooth. (laughs) Yeah, well, like, there's a little, you know, a little bottom tooth. Like, he's uh, drooling. Wow, this game is like a sleeping pill. I'm trying to, like, <laughs> say something funny or dumb or anything. Well, maybe for this season we should just, like, abuse Ambien while we play and see what that's like. Need coffee? No. Jesus Christ! In a fight with another couple of Gygases, and everyone but David is dead. <laughs> Dude, take that. Fucking... <sighs> Let me, let me go pee and regroup for a second. I can make another stab at this. God, man. Dude, I gotta watch this goop show on Netflix. <laughs> I saw that that existed and I was like, really? We got any fans who are into goop? I don't think anyone is actually into goop, but <laughs> Anybody maybe that, you know what that is. That was it's Gwyneth Paltrow's like scam wellness company. Yeah, where she. I think it's going strong. It is. And there was a documentary that was made by them for them on Netflix or something. A dick suck documentary. Well, it's like a whole TV show yeah, where she and her friends are like, isn't it fun to explore wellness? And then they go, like, promote questionable treatments for nothing, you know? I kind of think she's some sort of performance artist genius. I mean, she named it fucking Goop. You know, like, anyone who takes it seriously maybe deserves to, to die of not going to a doctor. I, you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Midway through the second episode of The Goop Lab, he injects E. coli into his bloodstream. Rather than have it treated, Hoff just breathes through it. Anyway, we start the dungeon yet again to get this egg down to the bottom. Attempt number three. Man, this dungeon. I don't like it. No. We're getting Will and Ted 3 this year, right? Oh, God, yes. Will and Ted, yeah, in August. August for Bill and Ted Face the Music. Yeah, Face the Music. They really blew it by not buying our script. Like, yeah, why weren't they listening to our podcast? They should have listened to our show and bought our script at the same time that they were writing their script that they also cared about. What if it comes out and it just is the plot we had? And it's just like we somehow were all <laughs> tapping into the cot, like, this is just what Bill and Ted 3 was meant to be. Pretty surprised <laughs> if it was what we came up with. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think Wayne involved. and Garth are going to be in it. I don't think that um, Woodstock 99 will play a role. Because I was just reading a synopsis that a visitor from the future warns them that they have to write a song. But that could be guitar string theory. Of that. Wait, yeah, that could be guitar <laughs> string theory. We could make arguments for why there's similarities, but... 
There's Bill and Ted, first of all. <laughs> they the have Bill and, and Ted in it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Step number one, it's already basically the same thing. Why is what this What the so fuck, serious? dude? Where am I- where am I now? You're the one who wanted to go down these stairs. I think this is the right way. So yeah, I enter a new part of the dungeon that I haven't been in before. Mm-hmm. And, and there's, there's like a bridge. Yeah. And they tried to- I guess they tried to make it look rickety. But really what it is, is like part of the bridge looks slightly different a little ways in. Yeah, and like I there's walk one into plank it, missing or something. I guess I fall off the bridge. <laughs> Look how crazy what this is. What the fuck? I think you fell off the bridge. Where? I can't remember where I, I am now. I fell down a level. Yeah, but I don't remember I, 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 <laughs> where I am. I, I knew at one point I fell off a bridge. Yeah, it looked like there was a little hole, right? I didn't see it. I mean, it didn't look like so. I wouldn't have thought, whoa, watch out, you're gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> but now that it happened, I think that must be it. God. Right, yeah, I, I remember we've been on the screen before. God Fuck off, dude. These double Giguses are my least favorite. I gotta do, I gotta, I gotta fight, shoot my best shot, you know? Like, I, I can't be wasting turns trying to run away from this. No, you can't. You have to, you gotta be on top of it from the beginning. So we make it through that Gygas fight, and then we run into six souls. Yeah, which is another hard encounter. I mean, the fauna in this dungeon... Well, they start casting Fire 5 all, all of them. God, and they cast Fire all. <laughs> ah, the all thing. It's a good time to stretch. Yeah. Crack your back. <sighs> They're all doing it. All six of them are doing it. Can't put on a podcast, can't put on a TV show, can't put on any music. It's all copyright infringement. Public domain music. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. I'm running low on everything. This is in the public domain. <laughs> hey, Betty. <laughs> it's he technically it's the monkey to the gym. It's called Abba Dabba Honeymoon. Okay. Oh! Two more Gygas. I'm gonna kill this game. JoJo's down to 2 HP, but she's still up. I mean, these things hit for a minimum of fucking 100 health points. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, he's out of MP. Fuck. God, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> she's gonna die. I don't know that we'll get a better one than that. <laughs> this Gygus fight is still not over. <laughs> that whole song played, and it's halfway over. I gotta get the fuck out of this place. I'm gonna have to exit and go back to town again. Yeah, I think so. And then try this again. Are you gonna try again? Well, if you're up for it, maybe. <laughs> I wanna be done with this dungeon. I wanna be done. I can be up for it. I think I gotta exit. I do too. Well, now I know not to go on the bridge. And I, I guess go the way I was going, which may also still have not been the right way. So I exit and head back to town. Jesus Christ, man. We've gotten good at this game. <laughs> Just a big open field full of stalactites. I guess it would be pretty intimidating to have a stalactite walk up to you. 
You know, part of why I want to get this done tonight is the idea of coming back to this in like a week or something is like, I, I won't know where this, what this dungeon is. I know it now. Sweet dreams. We made it to home. Going back to the floor. Do it. No, stay there. Anyway. Yeah, he's joining you. She doesn't like it. <laughs> she, she's like, I'm going to the couch. So at the start of next time, I'll put in some dedicated what are we spells do we want to level up and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. So we make it back down near the bottom of the dungeon and we run into a new kind of enemy, a green soul. I don't like any of the souls. Okay, what are G souls? I don't know. Hmm, it cured me. Uh, uh what, what are, are you these up enemies to? that it's like, what's your plan? What are you up to? Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I'm okay with this soul. Yeah, it's one of the rare times that this game gives you something positive. Maybe they're actually here to help. Like, if you get here halfway through and you know about them, you can just let them heal you up. What is hey, this? Let me help you out, buddy. Well, that, that's very unlike this game. Dude, how big this place is. No! No, Gur. There's three doors. There's four doors. This dungeon feels like it's never gonna end. Yeah, and at the very bottom, they give you a four-door test. Let me look this up. Just look at the fuck up. Like, I don't give a shit. I'm not working into trap doors that can fuck me over here. I'm not doing it. Oh, there is a boss. What door is he behind? The third door from the left. Yep, keep your fingers crossed. Here we go. Uh-huh. There's a monster in front of the spring. So guarding the spot that you're going to need to drop off the egg are three giant chimeras. There's three monsters in front of them. They're chimeras. Yeah. I got ambushed. I got ambushed? You know what's great about this fight? I can't heal. But now I know where the end of the dungeon is, which I'll forget when I inevitably die and then have to do this again in a few weeks. I mean, I guess it's theoretically possible. Oh my god. Come on. Come on, team. Come on, team. JoJo's dead, everyone's super depleted. Yeah, you're like out of magic. But I got two of them down, and there's mm -hmm. one left. He's on the ropes. So am I. Come on, Layla. Lay Layla into him. We did it. <sighs> wow. God. Talk about at the end of, like, you know, this game's really well designed because we just <laughs> were right at the end of our. Well, how many times did we have to leave and come back? It's I, like, no, just, it's, it's bullshit, dude. Like, you just barely. The spring of life. Egg. Egg. Submerged into the spring, the egg. All right. You know what I just realized? What? We can't make it back to town. You have a cottage. Oh. oh, 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 oh. I'm exiting. Uh -huh. So I exit, having submerged the egg in the water, mm -hmm. and I use the cottage for the first time in this game. Man, they don't hand these out very often in no. this one, and they really should. Dude, I didn't think we were gonna make it! I didn't either. Did you hear the defeat in my voice at the beginning of that boss fight? Yeah. The egg is submerged, we're full health, the dungeon is done. You did it. I'm glad it's done. I'm pretty tired. Yeah, no, the day needs to end. But we're gonna go tell the people about this and save and, and we've leveled a lot. Why do I feel like it's not enough? I mean, that was already so hard, even this level, you know? Like, we, we take the next, worry, worry about that tomorrow. We made it through today. We did both of the things we set out to do. Yeah, we did. We did those things. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to have a win. You, it's a win. Take it. I just don't... I can't muster anything. Yeah, we've been at it for over seven hours. It feels like a lot longer than that. We've done seven hour game sessions that don't feel long. Yeah, well, FF7 makes you feel like we could easily play it for that long. So we return to the castle, and we talk to that kid and his mom, and yeah, they're like, good job. Maybe one day the egg will grow to fight with you against the Empire on behalf of the Heroes. I have a feeling it will. Perhaps someday the Heru race will once again thrive through your efforts, thank you. Dragoon. Go talk to the Heru. Yeah, I will. Oh, it died. The Heru died? Yeah. Heru! Well, he was like, I'm weak, I'm not gonna make it, take this egg. 
I, I don't see how one Haru is going to repopulate the race of Harus. Well, maybe they reproduce asexually. It could be. They must, because there's only one of them that's coming. I, yeah, I guess in my head I was like, that Haru probably got pregnant before this, and then tragically the Haru's partner we'll was only, killed in the battle. But then the egg will be just be the final Haru? Yeah. I guess that makes sense. But, but I go into I, the I room... I don't want to live in that world. You're right. They <laughs> reproduce asexually. There's going to be Haru for miles... <laughs> Everywhere you look are They're Haru. Like tribbles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Haru. Haru. Nothing there. I go into the room where the other Haru was, and he's gone. All right. Now what? We go back to Altia. Are we is supposed it... to know that? Well, because they, they're the ones who sent us to go see if we could get the dragoons to help. So, like, we can't. We gotta go tell them that. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Okay. Should I travel to Altia? Get Fuck on the no. boat? It'll okay. take fucking forever. It'll it will? So You're gonna be in random encounters fucking all the way. Yeah, right. It'll take too long is really what it is. It'll take 30 minutes, at least. Yeah. It starts at Because you get on the boat and then you go right there. Like, that's not Altia. I feel like this, like, it'll just take another half hour thing. <laughs> We're coming at it from different places because as soon as we finish, you can just go in your room and right. go to bed. I, I go gotta to bed. drive home. You gotta I'm deal like, with I shit. gotta do the dishes. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Uh, no, it's the first town, like, where you gotta go to. The I'm not gonna argue it. I'm gonna accept that this is the end of the night. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I'm fucking done. We have six. We have enough to buy in, in ether. Oh, good. And okay. Then we can use it to survive on what is the wrong path. This game sucks. I know you know that. I don't need to say that anymore. People at home don't even need to hear that anymore. No, they don't. And that's episode 10 of season 5. Man, that dungeon is just so crazily brutal. What a long day that was. It's, I, I, I think that was probably the hardest one we had. But we also barely lost any progress. I know we did that really day. well. Like, we did that really was like well. How but long it, that dungeon takes? But it was so tiring, you know. It was. And I'm just really, proud of us for finally like locking into the game and I am not too. not utterly losing. I, I, I maybe pride is going a little bit far, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm at least happy with us. I'm not disappointed in us. Yeah. So that was the end of a day. Next week, we're going to start a new day, head back to Altia. We go back to Altia. Altia. I don't even know the name of the opening <laughs> town. It's still at this point where we're recording voiceover for episode 10. Anyway, next week, we're going to take back Finn Castle, finally, mm -hmm. which is that occupied town. It's just crazy to me that in this game, we are the ones actively pushing the war effort forward, saving the princess, all this and that, and we effectively just get treated like errand boys for the print. Like, <laughs> hey, go just, like, say hi to the dragoons. Yeah. Like, go over there and get that item. Like, we're winning this war. Give us armor. Give us something Give to us help us. Give us at least the mithril armor yeah. for free. God damn it. <laughs> oh, before we go, do you want to check in with the copy boy and see if he's got any messages for us? Yeah, let's call him in here. Copy boy, get on in. Looks like he's wearing clothes made out of sandpaper today. Well, it doesn't seem dangerous. Seems uncomfortable, but, you know. That does seem really it's awful. Kind of ruining your floors. Abrasive. Yeah, Copy Boy, don't wear that one again, please. That's a really weird suit. I don't know if we'll be signing up for this service again. Yeah, give me the message. Thank you, Copy Boy. The message reads, Final Fantasy II is not a good game. However, it is an interesting game, and an important one for the franchise. Final Fantasy II bucks the heavy Dungeons & Dragons influence and starts to create its own identity, and created the trend of Final Fantasy constantly reinventing itself. It is the origin of Sid, Chocobos, a reoccurring monster named Behemoth, Leviathan, the spell Ultima, and more. It's also the first Final Fantasy that I would call a Star Wars. You know, a plucky group of rebels fight a powerful empire that has a mysterious knight dressed in black that's related to a main character. It did Star Wars before FF4. It manages to do all this while having a unique, somber story that, while bare bones, has the highest body count in any Final Fantasy. I can't help but love the game, warts and all. Thanks for playing, Ryan and Jeff. And always remember, holy shit, play the remake instead. 
<laughs> well, all of that is true. They really swung for the fences, and we got chocobos. So, you know, our experience with this game is exactly what you hear, you know? Like, it, it, we didn't enjoy it ourselves, and therefore the story that is not that bad did not come through to us. Yeah, but your mileage may vary. Yeah, and I guess you should play the remake. Yeah, probably that's the easiest way for most people to play it anyway. Thank you so much to Andy McCoy for that message. Yeah, thanks a lot. Okay, copy boy, take this one away and... Oh, what's that? We've got a second message. Thank you very much, copy boy. Yeah, okay. The second message is from Robbie Gosweiler and it reads, All right, so... I don't have a company or product I want to push, but I want to bring awareness to something COVID related. I'm an audio engineer and I work for bands that tour all over the nation. Obviously, touring has stopped for the entire year, and it's put a lot of pressure on bands, venues, venue staff, booking management, and especially crew members like myself. Times are super tough for us in the entertainment industry. Bands and crew members don't have that same sort of unemployment options like companies have because we're all independent contractors. Even I have had to get a, quote, normie job for the year, and it's less than half of what I used to make weekly out on tour. Bands are especially hit hard because shows are their main income and the whole reason everyone in this industry gets out of bed, lol. So I just wanted you guys to let people know or remind them how important live shows are and that people in this industry needs help. A lot of bands are doing live streams on YouTube and Twitch and stuff to help raise money. The best way to help bands right now is to watch these live streams, donate and buy merch also streaming their records on Spotify or Apple Music. It's true that streams don't build a ton of revenue for bands, but high stream numbers are what promoters look at for big festival lineups and what booking agents look at for putting together tours. So basically, better streaming numbers equal better live show opportunities. For small independent venues, they are the most in trouble. Encourage people to like and follow their local venues and purchase any merch or donate to them because without shows, they literally can't make any money at all. If the small venues close around the country, it'll be even harder for new and up and coming bands to make a path. For crew members, there's a site called ForTheNomads.org. They're raising money for crew members and other live entertainment industry folks while the shows are canceled. Another great nonprofit trying to help is called Music Cares. M-U-S-I-C-A-R-E-S. Yeah, this is an extremely important and dire issue I've been thinking about a lot because I go to a lot of local concerts at a venue near my house. Yeah, I know Zebulon, right? Yeah, I know they're doing live streams and stuff, but like I uh-huh. know that that can't possibly make up for what they make in like drinks and to get artists there from all over the world. And yeah. I mean, like, you know, I have a, a couple friends also who are musicians, and I know that they're just kind of out of luck a friend of mine like does lighting design i have Mm -hmm. no idea what he's doing right now um it's gonna be a long time until we're actually gonna be going back to live shows again go to those places go to music cares donate and find your local venues and and buy merch from them it's the only way to support them and make it through this time and then things can get back to normal and we can actually like enjoy shows and people can get paid again someday. Yeah, if you have a band that you like, maybe just consider buying a piece of merch from them. Yeah, thank you so much, Robbie, for that message. We really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And take it away, copy boy. That's such a weird suit to have picked. Like, I don't even know what he was thinking. It's, he's, a, he's a mystery. He is a mystery. But if you would like some copy read... Just email us at nocappodcast at gmail.com with the subject line copy or whatever subject line you want. Yeah, we've really opened it up. You can put whatever subject you feel like. We do payments through PayPal. They're $25 each. Just send us the message and the money and we will read it on the air. The waves. The air waves. The air waves. (laughs) Waves of air. Isn't it crazy to think about that there are waves of air? Little vibrations of the air. See them? Yeah. You imagine if you could see air waves? I'm glad we didn't evolve to the point where we have that ability. But if we had, you wouldn't even know what it was like to not have it. You're right. And then you would do all kinds of things like looking at wind. I think about that kind of stuff a lot, actually, in terms of if senses kind of come onto a life form because of the 
environment the that external, it's in. external, yeah. There's visual light, so you would develop eyes, and there's, like, smells in the environment, and mm-hmm. so you would develop a nose and stuff like that. But that if you were on some other planet that you, is, like, irradiated all the time, that you would develop, like, a sensor for you could see, radiation like, yeah, and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, probably. This isn't but important. Why can't this I see wind? Yeah, we like, have well, we you, have when wind. When it gets serious enough out there, well, you, you can, I can see, see the like effects a tornado. of wind. Like, you can see tornadoes. But that's, like, because it's of what it's doing to the things around it. That's the not, air. No, like you can see a tornado because it's picking up all that dirt. And Is all it the, all dirt? That's all that's, like stuff. That's the only like thing that you can see? I it's like clouds, is too. Right, it's like it's sucking cloud. the clouds. Yeah, because so okay. it gets very windy, but what's happening is it's like pulling the clouds down and then like the all the dirt So what you're seeing up. is cloud. You're, yeah, you're, you're not, not looking at the wind. I'm talking about I want to see the wind. <laughs> you know? I don't know what it would look like. Yeah. Uh, right right in with your iTunes. ideas about what the wind would look like. And on, I, on, iTunes. on iTunes, go on Video Apple reviews. Podcasts and write about what, what the wind the looks wind like. What you think the wind should look like if mm-hmm. we had a sensor for that on our body. And big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Thank you so much to the people who support us on Patreon. We really, really appreciate it what you do. It means a lot, and we are constantly amazed. And if you want to join the ranks, as they say, yeah, go to patreon.com slash nocad. A dumb name for, for our, our, our army. Oh, yeah, God. Our, uh, our, oh, no. uh, never mind. I can't. I can't. I don't have the desire. We're not going to label you. You can call yourselves whatever you want. The no Just keep your names. If the... they have to be. <laughs> but yeah, go to patreon.com slash nocat mm-hmm. to do that. Get in touch with us at nocat podcasts. Yeah, we're go on... to twitch.tv slash nocat podcasts. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and, and Twitch. And Twitch. And <laughs> uh, ain't social media wonderful? It's great. And uh... we need it now more than ever. Damn it, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all. There's the merch. Go to Etsy. Yeah, we have an Etsy page. We got cool shirts. We've got three different designs. Haley. We got Haley. We got logo. We got this is a mist ache from season one. And they're on mugs too. Great way to support the show. Here's the dessert. Here's your dessert. Enjoy. You know, I had this like theory about film that like. Maybe telling a story isn't what you have to do, but what you gotta do is make sure that, like, you show someone eating, you show someone, like, dancing, you show right. someone having sex, uh-huh. you show someone sleeping, you know, just like the things people do yep. every day. And if yep. you hit those, people on some level will be like, I relate to this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>